Hey guys, Danielle here. I'm doing a solo playthrough of Three Sisters. This is a roll and write game and it is pretty fun. I've played a bunch of this game already and um, I wanted to do a playthrough of it. Again, as you might know, I've already done one. But the difference being this time I'm going to get a few of the rules correct. <laughs> so yeah, I always appreciate when people point out my mistakes. Um, but the mistakes in this, in the game that I had recorded previously, um, was, was pretty major, I would say. So I did want to correct it by, um, making this video and I hope you enjoy it as much as, um, you may have enjoyed the first one. So let's set up. I have the round counter on round one. I have, uh, Farmer Edith on the apiary or fruit down here. And we have the four dice. So the four dice is basically, you know, simulating the two two players where you use four dice. I do want to mention that I will be going first um, on the odd round. So one, three, five, seven. I will be going first. Farmer Edith will be going first uh, on the evens. Two, four, six, eight. Um, I've got my sheets here, and in case you don't know what they look like, these are it. So I'll be filling out both of these sheets and hopefully maximizing my score so that I um, I rank well in the uh, the ranges they have on the uh, in the rule book. So, all right. Well, I think I'll get started. And um, again, if I happen to make any mistakes, definitely let let me know. But otherwise, this should be a more accurate playthrough than my initial video. So I hope you enjoy. So let's start now. All right. Good variety here. One, three, four, five. Placing Farmer Edith after the highest number, which is actually goes here. And yeah, I go first, so I'll choose what I want. I think I will take the number one on the apiary or fruit section. And with that, I will do my garden action. I will first do these two pumpkins. So I'll plant these two pumpkins and then I can do an apiary or fruit action. And I'll go ahead and do an apiary action. Edith will do th the number three because it always starts from the, from the um, golden pin, which is here under apiary and fruit. So this action will always go clockwise for its first die choice. So it'll always choose the one that's closest. And in this case, it's a three. It's going to cross off that pumpkin for me, and it's going to do another plant or water action, unfortunately. So that means it will cross off this pumpkin for me. So no pumpkins available for me in zone three. As the first player taking my second turn, I have to choose the die that is lowest. So I can't even choose the five if I wanted to in the solo mode. I have to choose the lower die. So I'll choose the four. I'll go ahead and plant two pumpkins. And then with that number four, it was on the shed time um, rondell action. So on the shed time, I'll go ahead and mark off the new tractor. So the new tractor requires me to mark it six times before I get the 18 points at the end of the game. So it was pretty intense. Edith will take the five. Its garden action will cross off my pumpkin. And the compost and four goods section... Edith will end up crossing off a star on my goods, on my goods track, so that I actually can't use a bonus star action when I reach this later. Now it is the end of the round, and as you can see at the end of the round, there are uh, words underneath each. The first one is shed, so I, so I get to do a shed action. Farmer Edith does not do a um, round end event, so... Um, I'll go ahead and mark the second box of the new tractor, and that will be the end of the round. So moving on to round two, roll the dice, ascending order starting where Edith is. Place that there. So round two is an even round, so Edith will go first. And you may think, oh, she'll probably just you know take the lowest number, but that's actually not the case, as I explained before. Edith will always start from the golden pin and work its way around clockwise. 
So it's going to actually take the six. So it's going to cross off the pumpkin and then take an apiary action, which um, has the blue pin. That's how you know which action of these two it will take. It'll take the apiary. And so we're looking at apiary for number six. And it's going to cross off the top, the topmost of split hive. So that will be unavailable to me. Now it's my turn. I can choose any of the dice that I want. Um, hmm. I think I will choose this one for shed time, number four. So I'll plant again. I'll plant this pumpkin here, which is complete, which gives me one good. And then I will plant a corn. So that's my garden action. My rondelle action is shed time. So I will continue marking off new tractor. So Edith has to follow the same rules where if it's her second die that she has to choose when she's first, she has to choose the lower die as well. So, um, and even if we follow the other rule where it always starts from apiary, it would have been the two. So she's going to take the two and she's going to cross off that pumpkin in zone two. And in this uh, rondelle action, she'll do fruit for number two. So it says apples. So it's going to cross cross off the rightmost of the apples track. Then I'm forced to take the number five. So in zone five, I get to do a garden action. I can't water anything because I haven't planted anything in this section. So I have to plant and I'll go ahead and plant two corn. Because I actually can't plant beans until I have level two of the corn to reach the uh, the first level of the beans okay and then the farmers market unfortunately I don't have any um, well I have one good but that that just gives me one compost so I'll get a compost and in case you don't know compost is an action I can take basically I could utilize compost so I could increase or decrease the value of a die so that might come into handy later now the end of round event is rain for round two. So rain means I go from zone one through zone six and water all the the crops I have planted. So I'll start here in round in zone one. Okay. And then moving on to round three. Roll. Ooh, lots of threes. So we'll put the two here and all the threes on shed time. I'll go first and I am going to choose number two and I'll plant two corn. And then as a plant a water rondelle action, I'll plant two corn. So I've planted four corn, which is not bad on the turn. So now Edith will choose a three. That's all I can choose right now. It'll cross off a corn and then it's going to do a shed time action and this one let me move that out of the way number three is shovel so it's going to cross off shovel for me so i won't be able to use shovel um at all so let's try to find it and it's up here so i will choose three and then plant two corns and then shed time, I'll continue using a uh, new tractor as my, my marking spot. And then Edith will choose the final three here and cross off this corn. And then the three is going to cross off shovel, but it's already been crossed off, so Edith doesn't do anything at that point. The end of the round, farmer's market. So I still don't have any goods, so compost is just what I get. I only get one compost. Moving on to rain. Okay, I think that's good. Yeah, okay. All right, we'll put the ones, the twos, and the three. Edith will go first, starting here, going clockwise. It'll go to, to this spot and take the one. It'll cross off this pumpkin, and then it will cross off the next star. Man, this is not looking like a good game for me at all. Goodness. All right, so I'll take this two, but I will use a compost and change the value to a one so that I could plant in zone one. I went ahead and planted two, 
two corn and then I will take a hmm, either aviary or fruit. I think I'll do an aviary which gives me a bonus fruit action and I'll use that on raspberries. Gain three goods. Okay and then Edith will have to take the lower number so taking the two and she'll be crossing out a corn and then with the fruit the two is for apples so cross out the rightmost apple now the three remaining is for me and I'll go ahead and I'll water yeah I think I'll water so that means I'll water everything in zone three that I can and then it'll be a shed time so I'll mark new tractor all right, the end of the round event is rain. So I go through the zones one through six and just water out the things I've planted. So I'll start with the pumpkins. I gain two goods for completing that pumpkin. This pumpkin is done, so I get three goods. So now that these two pumpkins are done, it activates the crocus that's in the middle. So I get to do a free cro crocus action, giving me two compost as well. That's what I did when I marked the crocus. And then zone five. And then zone six, nothing to mark. Okay, we're on round five. One, two, and then sixes. So round five, I'll go first. I'm going to choose the round, not the round, the die, I guess. Oh no, I'm at a loss here. I'll choose six. And I'll plant a pumpkin and corn. And then I get to do another plant a water action. I'll plant a corn. And another corn. Edith will take this because it's where the golden uh, pin is. So we have a two. It's going to cross off um, a bean. And then it's an apiary action for, for Edith with the number two, which is honey. Crossing off honey. And then I have to take the lowest die, which is a one. So I'll go ahead and plant one corn and one bean farmer's market now I could do a perennial action because I have more than four four goods but less than 20 so it's just one one perennial and one compost and the perennial I think I'll go up on the crocus and get one compost and then Edith will take the final six crossing off this corn and then it's going to do another plant of water action. The more corn that it can cross off, so it's going to cross off a bean. All right, farmer's market is the round end event. So I will get a perennial action and a compost. So perennial action, I'll do a synth for two, two goods. And then moving on to round six. Wow, I'm not making good progress in this at all. Um, so that's one. There are two fives on the compost and food. Okay, I mean, goods. All right. So now uh, Edith will choose first. So we'll take the one. We'll cross off beans. So I'll cross this off. And then shed time for one mason jar. So it's going to cross off a mason jar. I'm going to actually choose, I think, five. And then I can plant two corns. And then the action is one compost and four goods. So I'll gain four goods. One, two, three, four. And I did cross off a star, so I get a bonus action. Now go up the apiary. Um, Edith will choose the number five. I'll cross off this corn. And it'll cross off my next star that I cannot use. Okay. Then I'll choose the six. And I will water. And then I'll go ahead and do my apiary action, which gives me a bonus two fruit actions. So I'll cross off 
my uh, raspberries for three goods and then another raspberry for three goods okay so round end I have to do a shed action and I'll complete new tractor and gain 18 points for the end of the game so yeah doing pretty good in that regard I guess so one three five I will go first, and I think I'd like to choose the number one and do a water action. So I completed that pumpkin. I gained three goods. Two, three. I did cross off a star. I'll cross off the raspberries for three goods. One, two, three. And then I did get another star, so I'll cross off the AP area up here. Because I cross off these two pumpkins, I get the crocus action. So I'll cross that out and get plus one compost. And then I'll continue watering. Okay. Um, and then I'll... Hmm. So for shed time, what should I do? I guess I'll try to do the string trimmer. Okay. All right. Edith will choose a berry or fruit with the number five. It'll cross out the beans. And it's going to do an a berry action of split hive, crossing off the top. Most box it can. Back to me. I'll choose a three. And I think with the three, I will actually. Yeah, I'll use a compost and make the value a 2. So it's actually a 2. And I'm going to water. So I'll water 2. And then the farmer's market is a rondelle action. And I have... I don't have 35, but I do have 20. So it is a perennial action and a, a fruit action. The perennial, I'll go up here and get two compost. And then a fruit action, I will do raspberries to gain three goods. All right, and then Edith will get a three and it'll cross off beans. The number three here will cross off iris from the top. And then the end of round action is farmer's market. Again, I, I'm at the 20 mark. So it's a fruit and a perennial. So I'll go up on the perennial for a crocus. And then fruit, I will do raspberries for three. One, two, three. So I gained a star action doing that. And I'll use that star action on honey. All right, so last round, let's roll the die. Roll the dice. Ooh, okay, so that's one. We've got two and four. So Edith will go first, and it's going to take the one. It's going to cross off the, f the beans. And then it would do another plant or water action, but there's nothing for Edith to cross off. So that was not a bad a bad turn for me, I guess. And then what else? Um, I'll do a shed action. So I'll mark off... I'll plant two beans. And then... On the shed action, I'll mark the string, yeah, string trimmer. Edith will take the two, marking off a beans, and then shed time for two is pie safe. It's going to cross off pie safe. Okay. And then number four for me, I will use the garden action and plant beans, and then plant another. Oh shit, I can't do another bean. Okay, um, corn. It'll be corn and bean. Okay. And then with the f with the rondel action, I'll do, I'll get one compost and then four goods. One, two, three, four. And that's one free star action. And I'll go ahead and use that to get the string trimmer. Okay. Now that is the end of the round, so we do rain. And this is the last last round. So rain will go from here. Okay. 
zone three. Okay, so if this pumpkin is done, I get three goods. And then a daffodil there. Daffodil gives me a shed action, so I'll just go here. And what else? Here, this, and this. And then this pumpkin, I'll get two goods. And those, yeah, that gave me a star action. I'll mark honey here. And then I think that's it. Now it's time to score. I'm a little nervous. I don't think I did too well. Hmm. So let's count the garden. And, and by counting the garden, that means you count the, the number of the blue values. So those are like the, the victory points. So any any um, box that you color in next to one of those um, blue ribbons, you'll gain those points. So let's add those up real quick. So this is three, six, ten, fourteen, and then 14 plus 3 is 17, 20, 23, 26, and then plus 4 is 30, 33, 36, yep, just 36 for the garden, not good. Then we have perennials, oh gosh, I was so close, I shouldn't have wasted the action here on the one because if I just instead of doing the mulch I could have done the crocus and got six points totally missed that missed that um if I was not recording this I probably would have just given myself those points but that's okay apiary I got five ten fruit I got one two three oh, that's one plus two yep and then the shed, I got 6, 18, and 1. So that's going to be, what is that, 25, I think? Yep. And then we simply just add all these numbers up and see what we get. And let's see, 9, 74. 75, 74. So that's my score, guys. I got a 74, um, which is not terrible, I guess. So looking at the ranges, you can see what that looks like. 74 74 is you have been crowned a state champ so those are the the score ranges um, of course my goal is to get over a hundred at some point I played this a lot and I have not been close um, but yeah this is the solo playthrough of three sisters one of my um, probably favorite games right now to play solo it's super quick it's fun the combos are fun um, and yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's very visually pleasing as well. The dice feel good in your hands. So I do hope you do get to pick this up. It's a very fun game, even more fun multiplayer. I have to say I've played this multiplayer and it's very good. So yeah, I, I do recommend this game for sure. But, um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. I hope all the rules made sense and if it didn't feel free to ask me down in the comments and if i've made any mistakes definitely let me know as well my first playthrough i did make a few mistakes so i wanted to make this playthrough to kind of do a more accurate uh playthrough just for people who are um really looking to learn how to play all right well i will stop rambling but i really appreciate you guys watching and i'll see you guys next time thanks